Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So yeah, Bitcoin continues to move in this uh, wave four, most likely. We talked about it yesterday, did highlight yesterday as we were around uh, still below 20k that we might be working here on a um, on an AVC structure in a wave four that this wave four might, might be going into the weekend. I think that was the correct assumption as it seems at the moment. So I really only want to focus here on the shorter time frame. Um, just zooming out a little bit to show you here the decline of the 16th of February highs. We talked about, we've got, just in short, we've got basically two key options here um, to count this as a corrective structure. First of all, we've got this as an ABC structure with the C wave coming down in a 1, 2, 3. Now we could be working on the wave 4. We reached an ideal target that I gave you yesterday, so I think that's a fairly likely assumption. And then the wave five still to come maybe early next week or we wrap it up all this weekend. The other option is to count it as a W, X, Y. Then we have here an A, B, C, and this could be finished already, okay? And we would move up then. But um, all, all of this, obviously, the condition is that the $17,500 level is holding because this is of the larger support area for the wave two the key threshold here to um, divide between a more bearish interpretation where we could make new lows and the interpretation that we're here doing um, a wave two and could rally in a third wave or a more extended correction which is still possible for example a wave b wave c wave that's possible as well but um, there's no point of knowing that now so i'm not i don't want to confuse you with too many different possibilities and scenarios but it's all about probabilities and we've reached a support area we're currently working according to plan here with this possible way four. so yesterday i highlighted i think already in my, in my first video uh, as we were down here that we could be starting this wave four i gave you a target and resistance area for this fourth wave um i think by the time i made the video we had already reached here the top of the a wave so let me zoom in the top of the A wave here and reached already minimum expectations for a fourth wave, 20,300, the 23.6% FIP level. Did highlight to you, however, that ideally we spend a bit more time on this fourth wave and will run into Saturday and that a C wave is still basically missing and would ideally reach the 38.2 FIP level, which is at 20,748 or at least the one to one ratio, um, which would be another way of calculating a target for wave four if you have the wave a and the wave b already you can calculate the length of the a equals c yeah or the 1.618 extension let's actually double check that which one this was um so we take the length of the a wave go to the low of the b wave and yeah okay it was the 1.618 extension um just need to draw this a bit more accurately but yeah basically here 20810 the 1.618 extension we did react to it. We actually reacted to the 1.786, but it's very close together. Um, so 20,800 reacted to it and got rejected. That makes it quite likely that this here was a valid ABC structure. Now, is this already the way for? We we don't, well, we, we have a corrective pattern complete. So we have ABC complete. So we now need to be watching for a fifth wave that could possibly start. Now, we won't really know that until price breaks below the B wave low at 19,650. In my opinion, already a break below 19,825 will increase downside pressure and would start that fifth wave or confirm the start of it. Um, we're going to ta talk about targets for the fifth wave in a minute. But because it's Saturday and because the time spent on the fourth wave was really only a day, my view is that we have a good chance that this actually develops into an Elliott wave triangle or a bit more of a complex correction. Um, so for example, it could be that all of this was just the A wave of a triangle. We're now putting in a B wave, there will be a C wave, a D wave and an E wave, and that could eventually result in the wave five, maybe towards the end of the weekend. These are the possibilities. Triangle is an option as long as we're making lower highs and higher lows in this region. And condition is also in each of these wave fours that we do not break above 21,110. Because if we do that, it will retrace more than it would be ideal for a wave four. We have to consider other options. 
for example, like a bullish breakout. Is a bullish breakout possible from here? Yeah, of course, everything is possible. It's just how likely is it? Especially the impulsive decline to the downside here currently suggests that we should see um, that we're not ready yet for a breakout. Yeah? It basically collapsed again. Had we seen a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, shallow retracement in a four, and a five, yes, we could be a bit more confident, but we don't see that, okay? It could still be something like a one, two, one, two setup, but they are first of all unlikely, and then it would need to turn around now and break above that resistance box. So it's best to be aware um, about the key thresholds, the key pivots, decision points, and invalidation points, instead of trying to figure out all the options that could be. Yeah, it's all about what should be and not what could be but that's exactly what we're looking at and now one more view and let's take a look about or look at targets down there for the fifth wave so how can we calculate these so first of all yesterday i already showed you if we measure the length of the a wave compare it to the length of the c wave we get the 1.618 extension already so basically we've already reached an ideal target for the c wave with that last low here on friday but now we can also calculate targets here just for the fifth wave because we have a possible top in place for the fourth wave. How do we do that? Well, we take the length of waves one through three, we go to the high of the wave four, and the first target would be 19,274. Based on that, that would be pretty much in line with the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. So we've got a good, a good confluence there. And another target we get is 18,232. So we'll add these on the chart as dotted lines as well. So we've got a bit of confluence there. And uh, one more way of measuring is, is not that we take the length of one through three, but we just take the length of wave one and compare that to the possible length of wave five, okay? So, and then here, <clears throat> the one-to-one -one ratio, which is an ideal target, is $18,985. So these are the key levels really to watch. And then, okay, we've got also the 1.618 extension down here, but that seems quite far away. Um, and there's also only an extended target. So let's leave it like that. I'm gonna take out here the, the other two dotted lines because that wave has reached basically target to the upside. So yeah, that's my update about um, Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.